Hey, this is Brent with Like It's Motorsports. Um, short video this week. Uh, plan on taking it easy this weekend and hanging out more with the family. But we're going to work on Mr. Dennis's uh, distributor uh, today, and I'm going to attempt to show you guys what you need to do to your MSD distributors when when you use them. This is uh, in 85941. Uh, which means that it has the steel gear. The 8594 has an iron gear for flat tap at cams. Uh, if you're running uh, a hydraulic or solid roller cam, then you'll need the distributor with um, with the steel gear. I'm gonna slide this out of the box. And this is how they come packaged up. They package really well. Um, they come with um, various tags on them. Um, do not return to your retailer if you have a problem with it. Call MSD. Uh, going over the mechanical advanced settings and that sort of thing. Um, so one way to tell if it's a steel gear, it'll have an S here. Uh, I believe the cast gears have a C, obviously. Um, comes with uh, the seal, and I don't have a clue why they put that O-ring in there. The O-rings are for small block Ford motors and, and other uh, engines where the distributor goes uh, down in the block. The FE goes in the intake, so it needs this tapered seal. We also get an assortment of uh, stop bushings and advanced springs and also the screws to hold down um, the little crab cap thing. Then they throw some Lucas assembly lube in there and a set of just instructions and some decals. I've got enough decals to cover our neighborhood block, so I won't keep those. Um, first thing I'm going to do is take the cap off and trash it because I cannot stand those red MSD caps. We're going to put a black one on it. Uh, before you get too carried away, we're going to check uh, the distributor gear in play. Um, people make a lot of mistakes here on putting distributor gears on. And uh, I've had multiple videos of this in the past. And we need to check what the installed dimension is. It's supposed to be 3045 to 3050. Um, I could probably... Yeah, it's 3050. So um, if it were outside of spec, then I would pull this gear off. I would turn it 90 degrees. I would drill another hole and then put another roll pin in it. Um, we're going to continue by taking off the rotor. I think to put these on with the impact wrench or something. And with the rotor off, um, you can see the, the weight springs. This gives you the uh, rate of mechanical advance. Under this nut, you can see just a little blue tint there. That is your stop bushing. So let's take a look at the instructions real quick and uh, show how this distributor is set up from the factory. All right, so again, we're working with two heavy silver springs and if you were to see this easily, um, you see it's a blue stop bushing. So let's look at how uh, the instructions say this is set up. So with the blue bushing size, we have 21 degrees of um, mechanical advance. This is not a vacuum advanced distributor. So 21 degrees of advance just means that you add that to whatever your initial is set at. So if your initial is at um, 10 degrees, then your total is going to be at 31 degrees. Um, we'll, we'll change that and I'll explain why here in a second, but I'm gonna thumb through this other page and we're gonna look at how this is set up. So we got two silver heavy springs and they give us this chart and they show you where, uh, where on the curve the uh, total advance will come in 
based on uh, which color stock bushing we're using. So we have two silver heavy springs. We have a blue stock bushing. Or it intersects the curve right about 38, 3900. That is really, really high for um, any kind of performance uh, application whatsoever. You, you generally do not want your total timing to come in that high. It'll make your engine feel very, very sluggish. Um, and you'll lose some low end power. For lighter cars, um, I generally like to see way down here, uh, about 27, 2800. Um, and we want the advance to come in uh, quicker. That uh, Those heavy silver springs, um, as you can see here, they are the slowest rate of advance. So what I typically try to do is um, on on these FEs with uh, if they're going in you know a Mustang or a Fairlane or something like that, I will pair it up with a heavy silver spring and a light silver spring, and we'll run the black uh, bushing, which will put our total advance coming in somewhere about 27, 2800 RPM. Um, that'll make the engine feel uh, a whole lot more responsive down low, which is good. Um, so it'll add a little bit more power down there. Um, if the car is even lighter than that, you can generally get away with bringing the total timing in a little bit quicker. Um, two light blue springs will get you about 2,500 RPM with a black bushing. Um, one silver and one light will get you almost down to 2,000 RPM. If it's down that low, I would almost suggest locking the timing out. But uh, we're going to set the distributor up with this situation. We're going to use this black bushing. And if we go, look back at our chart, the black uh, gives us only 18 degrees of uh, mechanical advance. So uh, a trick full ahead generally wants anywhere from 32 degrees to 36 degrees total timing. If it's at 36 and we subtract this 18, we'll still be at 18 degrees initial. Um, you'll find that a lot of the uh, aftermarket cams and carburetors and such like a little bit more initial timing. So we're going to set the distributor up with a black bushing and we're going to change one uh, uh, advanced weight spring. All right, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to use a 5 16 wrench. I'm going to get this little nut removed gives us access to our stop bushing. There's generally a little washer behind it, so when you take it off, you gotta watch and make sure you don't lose it. You can use a little magnet to pull that bushing out, so that's what we're taking out. This is the black one we're putting back in. We're gonna shove it in there, put our washer on, put our nut on, When you're tightening this back up, don't dynamite it. You don't have to. Um, once upon a time, some guy who will remain nameless, but his initials are Brent Likens, tightened that up too tight and broke that little stud off. So don't do that. Um, next, we're gonna change this spring. Shoot it across the desk. And uh, you can generally just use your finger nails to put these light ones back on. That's all there is to it. So we're gonna put our rotor back on. It's keyed, so round hole here, square hole here. If you notice on the bottom of our rotor, square hole, round hole. So I'm gonna put this on like so. Tighten our rotor screws back up. Evenly. This is our distributor seal. If you know, notice it's tapered. That goes down into the intake manifold to seal it off. So it goes on here, you just kind of walk it up. 
and you can twist it a little bit as long as you get it straightened back out when you get it back in you're fine i've got this one upside down so we can straighten it back up like so and that's it i'm going to get a black cap off the shelf we're going to put it on here then we're going to drop it down in the engine to cover up the hole that's currently in the engine all right so we're going to temporarily put our distributor down in this hole just to cover the hole that's there this is um replacement msd black cap it's a part number 84333 for uh, this particular distributor You gotta get mad to open it up. But it goes on like so. All right, guys. I know that was a quick video, but I appreciate you watching. Hopefully, if you're, uh, I get a lot of questions and emails and text messages and phone calls about uh, recurving your distributor. So, hopefully, that will um, answer some questions for you. Uh, hope you will have a excellent long weekend it's memorial day and uh, spend some time with your family get out and enjoy the sunshine and uh, this is brent lagas motorsports talk to you soon